The McMartin case started in 1983, centered around accusations of child abuse and molestation in a preschool located in Manhattan Beach, California. It all started when a mother of a two-and-a-half-year-old boy accused Raymond Bucky of molesting her child. He was arrested, but officials pressed no charges due to the lack of evidence. Even so, she persisted, saying her son had also witnessed strange rituals, which prompted for more investigation. Numerous children were questioned and received medical examinations, though evidence of molestation was never found. Victims of the case included Mrs. McMartin herself, her daughter, grandson, and granddaughter, along with three other teachers. The trial ended with no convictions due to the lack of evidence in 1986. It was later found that many of the questions used to interrogate the children were very leading and based off of a reward system to manipulate confession out of them. The pack journalism also magnified the situation. Several parallels can be drawn from the McMartin case to the Salem witch trials, one of which was the fact that children were the ones making accusations against adults without having concrete evidence. The hysteria surrounding the preschool is also similar to that on the witch trials involving numerous examples of peer pressure. Unlike the trial, though, there were no convictions, for officials thankfully found their heads and recognized the lack of evidence. The conclusions we drew from this are that people let their fear of the unknown overcome them, leading to false accusations simply to satisfy what they were afraid was true. Like many other situations, this demonstrates how fast hysteria can spread in a world full of social media and over-dramatized reports. People also have a natural tendency to want to belong and not stand alone, so by one person claiming something, you can create a whole domino effect in the end.